We're ready to race. Let's watch for that green light here. The launch, as we've seen all day, so important to get the lead going into corners one and two. And Calio looks to have it. Look at O'Donovan right in the back there, looking for a bit of trouble, looking to get the inside line. He pushes Rockfist out wide. And that looks to be Christina GZ that's had a little bit of a shunt coming into that first corner, but looks to be still, yet yeah, she's driving on. And Patrick O'Donovan with Debris to oh, avoid it. Oh, oh, O'Donovan's gone, that's a hard hit. Into the wall. Flag, oh, Nick. a red flag. That's it. The stewards have decided that there's cars and way too much debris out on the track. I'm just getting some information in my headphones. I hope you'll get the same info yeah. that the race has been declared. It's good. Green for go, good start from Dorita, but Anderson, Clara Anderson, the 21-year-old female Swedish driver, is going to find some room here. And it looks like Suarez, who pushes his way through to go into a second position, pushing Anderson down into third. One of them's going to have to mix it up at some point now. I think Anderson, with that extra speed, has probably got in. Yes, she has, on the fourth lap. Clara Anderson has taken the Joker lap, leaving Derrida comfortably out. He's almost two seconds clear now, but there is no question. Championship leader who is in the Joker lap and now exits the Joker lap has been in control from the get-go. We have Derrida takes six points for a comfortable win in the semi-final. Suarez second, Anderson in her debut to the RX2E series is into the final. She'll be delighted with that. The light is green, away they go, and Calio has got the inside line, though it's Dorita that goes ahead of Calio. Calio just seemed a little slower off the launch, and that allowed the Belgium driver to take the early lead going into corner one. Here's the hairpin at two, Calio goes for the inside track and goes alongside Dorita. Both of them floor it, oh, he takes off the rear bumper. Oh, here we go. How Calio dropped a couple of temps in the middle sector on the previous lap, but then took those temps back again in the final sector on Derrida. There's going to be very little to choose between them. They're so equally matched in these single-make electric four-wheel drive cars. Now there goes the Belgium leader into the Joker lap. Has Calio got enough to come around the outside? It needs to be on point for Guillaume Derrida here. And it's good, it's very good. And it is Guillaume Derrida that takes the win here in front of an ecstatic home crowd. Oh, it's just amazing. That's the perfect scenario I could, uh, I could hope for. Um, I knew it was going to be tough at the start, and if I wouldn't be in front of him, then I would finish P P2 because uh, we have the pace, but uh, still, he's quite fast, so I give my everything at the start, go around the outside, and then uh, I try to do as, as less mistake as possible. But uh, yeah, good relief and really happy with the, with the win here in front of the, the Belgian crowd, so it's just an uh, amazing feeling, you know? It's, uh, yeah. Yeah, just amazing. And that is how the championship standings lie as well. Dorida, well, he draws nine points rather than seven, which was the position at the beginning of the weekend here in Spa. Ahead of Calio, Patrick O'Donovan is in third.